What's up, sports bettors? I know we got some Thursday night football, but tennis is getting interesting. We're in the semifinals of the U.S. Open, and I was able to find a very profitable, sharp bet on the semifinals. So the men's semifinals. And again, as a sports better, you always want to be following the value, right? Where are the data-driven bets? Where is the value in the odds? And today, it's in the U.S. Open. So if we scroll down, what you can see right here is a bet with a 2.67% profit margin on Casper Rude minus three and a half, right? So lines are always moving in sports betting, right? Just like the stock market action comes in, lines move towards a certain player. So since lines opened, all of the sharp action has been coming in on Casper Rude and her game spread has moved from minus two and a half to minus three and a half, or his game spread has moved from minus two and a half to minus three and a half. And you can see we're still able to get plus 115 on Caesars right? That's a pretty great price. And what the pros do, right? What the sharp betters do is they're always looking for great prices. Where is their value in the odds, right? You don't just want to put your finger in the wind and bet blindly. That's not how you make money sports betting. It's following a very data-driven, mathematical, you know, market-driven approach, right? Every sports book in the market is kind of like an independent data point of what the line should be set at. Right, DraftKings has this minus 105. WinBet has this minus 110. You know, Bet Online plus 100, and then Pinnacle minus 102. So once you kind of remove the vig from the entire sports betting market, you know, you remove the juice, the spread, which is how sports books make money. The true price ends up being plus 109, and we're getting plus 115 on Caesars. So this bet seems really good, right? It's a positive EV play. It's a bet with a mathematical profit margin because we're getting odds that are higher than the no vig price, the no vig line, the true odds. So the true price is plus 109. We're getting plus 115, which is why this is a bet we want to be all over for the US Open on Friday. So you can see right here, I locked it in for $1,000. And this is kind of how the math works, right? 2.67% profit margin, $1,000 bet. So our bet has 2670 in profit margin. Doesn't mean this bet is guaranteed to win. That's not how it works in sports betting, right? As a sharp better, you win on game spreads, point spreads, you know, totals 55% of the time. Square betters win 50% of the time. And even though that difference between winning, you know, 50% of the time 55% of the time doesn't seem like a big deal. It's really the difference between like people becoming professional sports bettors um, and making a living off it and doing it full time and being square and, you know, going broke. So one of the bets I have open for the U.S. Open right there. And again, as a sports better, you'll always have variance. You'll have losing streaks. You know, you'll lose big bets. But over the course of the long run, you know, we won our last bet on Casper Root, it looks like. Um, in the quarterfinals, I believe, you know, it's not like every day is going to be an up day, but when you have the edge, you know, you're going to win in the long run. So it's really just about finding as many bets as you can that have a mathematical edge, a mathematical profit margin. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and let's make some money.